All right, hello everyone. How are you? It's K. So this is uh, on Monday, 18th of April, 2022. So uh, yeah, looks like markets are quiet because it's Monday. Usually it's quiet. So I'm expecting uh, some directions from uh, tomorrow onwards, this week. So, oh, by the way, this is not a, a live. This is a video because uh, I have appointment afterwards. But uh, yeah, let me talk about one of the topics today so i hope you enjoy today's video session so uh let me switch the screen okay and before starting anything here just a quick disclaimer as usual uh, this content is basically for educational purposes only so when you take trades please do with your risk management and also uh, if you can please follow the guidelines and rules that would be great and also recently, there are so many scammers out there using my name and create some different fake accounts. So please be careful for these people. Okay, so uh, today I would like to talk about one specific topic, which actually I found on the uh, on uh, one of my YouTube video comments, which is this one. So. Uh, this is from Abdul, uh, and he says, Sir, your videos have been a great source of knowledge, and of course, many traders follow you and earn money. Please give some explanation, if possible, in your upcoming session on my following question. If there is a conflicting trends in the small and large time frames, should we enter in the trade or let it go? And sometimes you are just waiting for confirmation and the trade move all at once and you may not be able to enter that case what should be the strategy so this is a topic for today so simply speaking he's asking so let's say higher time frame daily is bullish and four hours bearish then what to do or maybe daily could be bearish and four hour or even one hour could be bullish and in that case uh what should i do should i enter or should i wait let it go and what will be the answer and this is actually one of the frequently asked questions on my YouTube channel. And that's why I decided to talk about this topic today with some uh, chart examples. So, uh, yeah, so this video is recorded right now at uh, very close to uh, 12 UTC. As you see the clocks, so you will see locations, Los Angeles, New York, London, Dubai here and uh, New Delhi, Singapore, in Tokyo, and UTC. So basically, this is, what, this is uh, when I'm recording this video, two hours uh, before this upload, I'm recording this video. So let me switch to a uh, trading view. So, um, so I am a trend follower, and if you are familiar with my strategy, I basically follow either daily or four hour direction. So that means if I can if I can capture the market uh, trends either daily or four time frames, then I take it and break it down to the lower time frames for the confirmations. So today I've seen multiple pairs trending in higher time frames, and one of the examples is like this one Euro JPY. Um, so this is Euro JPY, and uh, on the left this is the daily time frame. And on the right is a four hour chart. So every time I open the chart, I screen all the pairs on my watch list. I have 21 pairs on my watch list and I screen them based on a daily under four. And if either one of these time frames are trending, then um, I look for an entry chance in the lower time frames. So how to identify the trend is very simple. I use Ichimoku Tokyo as main as my main strategy, and uh, I can see that the Kumo Senko Span A is bullish. The Kumo is composed of two lines. Senko Span A is upper part, and Senko Span B is a lower part when it's bullish. So uh, you can see the angle of Senko Span A is up. Kijun Sen, the green one is called Kijun Sen, and Kijun Sen is also going upwards and Chiko span above candles so this is bullish and as long as Kumo and Kijun Sen continue to be up 
and to close point above candles, uh, most probably the market breaks resistance and goes up. And simply that is because in terms of equilibrium, uh, in the long term to mid term, this is now bullish. So that means there are more buyers and sellers that uh, the market can break resistance and keeps going up towards a uh, bullish direction. So daily chart shows bullish. However, if you look at the 4 hour chart, it's a bit flat because uh, Kijun Sen is flat. Uh, in the daily chart, Kijun Sen was up, but in the 4 hour chart, Kijun Sen is flat. And Kumo is bullish, it's okay, but the Chikou Span is still very close to candles. This is not really like this daily chart. Chikou Span in the 4 hour is still very close to the candles. So I would say that in the 4 hour chart, it's range. But in the daily, it's bullish. And that's why I will take the daily to follow. If I enter the market right now, then I take the daily time frame to follow. That means as long as daily chart shows bullish, I continue to trial. And as soon as the daily chart goes flat range, then I will look for exit timing. It's my strategy as a trend follower. So uh, this is an example of either daily or four to be uptrending. But I found one of the pairs right now is uh, contradicting between daily and four, and that is Euro AUD. So here is a Euro AUD. So once again, on the left is a daily, on the right is a four hour chart. So um, this is in the daily chart, this is uh, still a bit bearish because uh, Kumo is down. Kijun Sen is flat. Chikou Span is uh, technically below the candles. So uh, this is bearish. In terms of the price actions also, uh, the highs are lower and lows, high, lows lower. So this is technically bearish. So the market might retrace back to the previous resistance or to the Kijun Sen, then continuously go down this way. However, if you look at the 4 hour chart, the market is above the Kumo now and Chikou Span about to break the candles. So right now, technically, Chikou Span is with the candles, but uh, in the uh, next uh, 4 or 8 hours, if the market breaks free distance, bullish, then um, Chikou Span breakout will be observed, and uh, you will see the market bullishness. So I think this is one of the examples where the time frame directions are contradicting. Daily is bearish, a 4 hour is about to bullish. And in this case, what to do is the question. And my answer is very simple. Simply wait until either time frame start to be trending again. So since daily is bearish, um, in this case, I would still follow the daily direction. Um, so, but right now, Kijun Sen is flat. And with my strategy, I prefer to wait until Kijun Sen turns bearish, then look for the sell chance. So I would just wait for the Kijun Sen angle in the daily, and if it starts to point down, then I look for the sell chance. And I don't look at the 4 hour chart in that case. No. However, if 4 hour chart breaks resistance over here of um, 1.4689, and when it happens, as I mentioned previously, when the market breaks that level, then a Chikou Span will also break the candles and it comes above the price. And also Kijun Sen should turn bullish also. And Kumo itself should also turn bullish. So when this happens, I take the 4 hour to follow, but I don't take the daily to follow downtrend. Because most likely daily keeps retracing backwards but 4 hour start to move up and trend up by Ichimoku confirmations. So if that's the case, I follow the 4 hour chart. So at this stage, for me, with my strategy, both time frames are technically flat. Because Kijun Sen are flat in both time frames. So that's why I just hold right now. But after holding some while, if I see this in the 4 hour chart, then I take the 4 hour to follow bullish. And as long as it goes up, I keep trading the profits. And if you know, if you're familiar with the Ichimoku advanced strategy, 
or if you have been following my YouTube for a while, then you know that this is potential Kijun Sen retracement. Because whenever you see the Kijun Sen flat, um, there's a potential that the market retraces back to Kijun. So daily Kijun Sen is, let me see with price level, daily Kijun Sen is 1.4823. So that will be the target in the 4 hour chart. If it continues to retrace, bullish, then it may hit the daily uh, Kijun Sen and then start to retrace backwards. So that will be the target. So that will be, I mean, initial target. But just because the market retraces back and hits this level, I don't usually exit. Simply, uh, I keep trading, trading the profits as long as it goes on. So because it might break Kijun Sen, and then it may go up to Kumo, same on A. So if this retracement doesn't happen in the flower chart, then uh, Kumo should keep going up. And Kijun Sen should keep pointing upwards and Chikou Span will keep above the candles. So in that case, I keep holding, keep trading the profits. And as long as it goes bullish, I will simply trial a full hour chart. And this is why I say I take either time frame to follow. So once again, in this situation, daily looks to be bearish because of the price actions. But technically, Kijun Sen flat, so I would just fall. I don't simply uh, look for the selling edge right now. But in the 4 hour chart, this is also flat, because flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen, and Chikou Span is still with the candles. So, uh, you know, sometimes Chikou Span keeps tracing candles. Right? So, this is about to break the candles, but uh, since Chikou Span sometimes keeps tracing the previous candles like this, from here, it may reverse like this way. The market may reverse, resisted by this uh, previous resistance in the power chart, 1.4689, and it might start to reverse backwards from here too. So I would have to wait for the breakout of the resistance. Uh, and, that, uh, and if I see that, then a Chikou Span should be above the candles. And because the market breaks resistance bullish, that will make the Kumo bullish and Kijun Sen also bullish. If you know the calculations of these lines, you know that they will turn bullish. Then I will look for the buy chance afterwards. And I don't take the daily to follow, but I will take the 4 hour to follow. So, um, so this is basically my strategy. But uh, So I say myself, I'm a trend follower and I look for the trending pairs in either daily or four, and then break it down to the one hour or 30, and then further break it down to either a 15 or five minute chart, and start to enter the market. So, uh, but uh, daily or four is the uh, most important time frames for me, because uh, these are the time frames that I would follow. So, um, yeah, I take also Quick time frames like 1 hour 30, but uh, I just take these time frames for the conf for the trends, but uh, I don't follow the 1 hour 30. I simply follow either daily or 4 hour time frames. And that's why when I start to trade the profits, my target is based on the daily or 4, but my stop loss is always based on the 5 or 50, which is very tight in about 15 to 35 or maybe 40 pips in range to stop loss. So my stop loss automatically becomes very tight and my target becomes very wide because I do so, I set the target, a profit based on a daily four hour uh, direction. So basically that is my strategy. And if you're not familiar with my strategy yet, then please come to my web page. Uh, hold on, let me put the bump. Okay, so here is my web page here. Uh, please uh, express home. So uh, simply come to my web page and hover over free download and KTS. Click on the KTS case trading strategy. And um, you will open page like this. 
and you can have a free download PDF of my strategy and also you can watch this video for my overall strategies so uh yeah so once again but uh right now looks like some pairs are trending like uh jpy pairs up trending still in the daily chart uh euro jpy is bullish and usd jpy is also bullish and pound jpy is also bullish like in the daily chart on the left you see these uh all the lines kumo senko span jijun sen tenkan sen chiko span are all bullish I can see that these are uh, bullish trend. These all the JPY pairs, some uh, other pairs like pound AUD uh, was bullish uh, in a four-hour chart, but now I can see the Kijun Sen is becoming flat, so it may be trace. But uh, this is technically still bullish above the four-hour, but the daily chart is still range. See the daily chart retraced back to Kijun Sen. It's breaking. The Kijun Sen bullish. So, since 4 hour is bullish continuously, most likely the market will be retracing back to single span A. As, as long as 4 hour keeps going up. So, in this case, I take the 4 hour to follow, but I don't really look at the daily because there's nothing to follow the daily thing. And let's see. ABDCAD. Uh, this one is also retracing back to single span A in the daily, but there is no direction in the daily thing. This is called the range as per Ichimoku. Whenever you see the markets in between Kijun Sen Kumo, it's considered to be range. However, in a 4 hour chart, this is downtrend. Uh, you can see Kumo down, Kijun Sen is uh, currently technically flat, but the market is below the Tenkan Sen, close span below candles. So this is completely bearish. So as long as Kumo Kijun sent down and Chiko span below candles, I can look for the sell. But whenever I see Kumo flat Kijun sent flat or Chiko span taps candles, then I simply exit. So yeah, AUDC AD is currently there, but looks like uh, the volatility is very small because it's Monday. And CAD JPY is also bullish. This one is bullish in both time frames both daily and the four hour chart. So when I see these multiple time frames trending for the same same direction, uh, this is uh, the, the bit better uh, here, market push. So so far it looks like CADJPY looks the best so far. And the CAD CIS run is now Daily is bullish, but 4 hour is now uh, flat Kumo, so uh, it might reverse. And if you look at the 4 hour chart, I don't like these wicks in the 4 hour. So many wicks, like fishbone, so the market is. So I put it away. Even if I put the stop loss, I hit the stop loss, and then the market may take off towards the major direction because it's very spiky, so most likely away. And this is from JPY is also bullish in the daily chart, but 4 hours is flat, so I take the daily to follow. And let me check gold. Gold was bullish uh, earlier, but let me check. Yeah, gold is bullish in the 4 hour chart. Uh, in the daily chart, uh, it was flat till its range, because uh, Kumo flat, Jun Sen is down, Tenkan Sen is bullish, which calls Pan still touching. So technically, this is still range as per Ichimoku photo. However, like I mentioned previously, this is also kind of advanced uh, strategy of Ichimoku. As I said, the, uh, uh, on the 12th of April, the price actually landed above. So uh, since since this date, they say that the market has been bullish. Uh, so we can follow in this case. 4 hour up trend. Because 4 hour chart, Kumo is up, Jun Sen is up, and Chikou span above candles. So this is nicely and stably bullish. So in this case, um, I don't take the daily to follow because there is no direction, but I take the 4 hour to follow. This is another example how I select which time frame to follow. 
So uh, yeah, but like this, I this is how I select which time to follow, and when they contradict, uh, like uh, I showed it before, and like Euro AD, when the directions are contradicting, then I will simply wait until either either time frame shows new direction. If there are false range, then I will simply stay away. So I hope that makes sense, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, you learned some too today's uh, video session. So uh, like this, uh, this is my strategy, and I teach the own strategy like this multiple time frame each moku, and risk management, entry confirmations, exit confirmations, and psychology at the GTS. And uh, the next GTS is starting in July. And there are five seats uh, uh, open originally, but now only two seats. Or maybe uh, if uh, the, the person who is asking asking uh, for a help to join, well, if he joins today, then there will be only one seat left in the in July session. So if you're interested, uh, please uh, let me know by email. You can find the email address below. Or contact from below this so please let me know if you are uh, still interested uh, because there might be only one seat available uh, by the end of today so uh but uh, anyhow today's monday so usually mondays i take days off and, uh, i don't really be active markets uh, so i uh, simply uh yeah i will just relax and after like uh, later tonight in Dubai time, uh, there will be interview with other GTS member graduate. So uh, yeah, I hope to have a um, good conversation. With and uh, once I call it the video, then I, I will upload to everyone so that you can also learn from our conversation, like just like just just like I did with uh, Mrs. Fresh the other day. But uh, yeah, anyhow, that's uh, that's it for today's uh, video. So thank you for watching to the end, and I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.